Just at daylight one morning, we found a couple of interesting tracks coming out of the park, going into the safari area. Okay, what we've done is we sweep this road every day with a limb. We just drag a big old bush, bushy top tree up and down this road, and then we check it at daylight every morning to see we can see the tracks where the elephant come out of the park and go into the tribal areas here. And so if we find a track that we like, then we'll follow it up. Usually they're not very far out here, and you can usually hear them. So we found a pretty nice track here that's coming out of the park, going into the tribal area. So we're going to pack up and uh, track it out here and see what we find. So come on. And actually, we can hear elephants out there a few hundred yards, breaking limbs, breaking trees. Elephants are real noisy when they're feeding and moving along. So these look pretty innocent. So we decided we had, let's track them up and see what happens with these. Well, folks, if you hunted elephant for a lifetime, you'd probably never see what you're about to see. We tracked these elephants out there uh, a few hundred yards. We could hear them breaking those branches. As we was getting closer to them, we could tell that they were getting further apart until they were a couple hundred yards apart. So when we got there and seen that we weren't going to find both of them at one time, we took the left elephant first and we started towards him. But about the time we started towards him, he quit making noise. So we got up there about maybe 30 yards or so. We could see him, but we couldn't get a really good look at him. Um, you can see on the tape where he throws his head up and then he lays down. When he first threw his head up, I thought he detected that we were there. And so I got ready. I didn't know what was going to happen after next, but he just lay down. We just happened to come up on this elephant about the time he was going to lay down and take a nap. And elephants are like horses. They may spend their whole life standing up. They might ever lay down. But anyway, this one lay down, went to sleep right there in front of us. So we maneuver around and get to where we can get a little better look at the ivories. And uh, as you can see, Butcher telling me he's not quite good enough. So. We just back off and leave him sleeping, and then we head in the direction that we had last heard the other elephant. We don't hear him anymore, he's not making any noise, but those trackers know exactly where he is, so we sneak on up there and get about 25 yards for him. You can see him just laying there on the ground. So these two elephants have both decided at the same time they will lay down and take a nap. So we got up there about 20 yards from him and set the gun up on the sticks and got ready. They asked me if I wanted to shoot him laying down. I said, no, I won't shoot him laying down. We're going to get him up. Well, we could see the one ivory. We could tell it was really good ivory, about 55 pounds, but we couldn't see the one on the other side. So we decided we'd move around and get even closer. So I gave the sticks back to the tracker, even these sticks as close as we were to this. So we eased around and got into a different opening, got ready. Butcher tells me that he's going to check this. We're going to wake him up and get him up. He's going to check this ivory just as soon as he can see it and tell me yes or no. And I'm going to be ready because we're 15 yards from this bull. So we get around there. Butcher whistles at him a couple of times. But he don't ever wake up. This bull just snores. So he motions for the tracker to break a stick. When the tracker breaks a stick, the elephant opens his eye. He broke the second stick and he gets up, but you know, watch this. You'll never see this again in your lifetime. Again. And again. Come with me. And you know that rifle, that elephant rifle that seems so big when you were shooting it off the bench back home? Seems pretty small when you're standing that close to 12,000 pounds. <laughs> He's a bloody dandy. He's got both tusks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank wow. you, Mr. Richard. But that first <laughs> shot, I think, was perfect. Oh, I, I think it was like great. It. Hey? I think it was great. I don't see how I could not be at that distance, huh? <laughs> that was. <laughs> I mean, that's the best <laughs> week of elephant hunting I've had in years. Well done. <laughs> All right. Now, you know the draw is dangerous game, hey? You smoke a cigarette, give it ten minutes, let him die, and then we go to... Woo! <laughs> that's a good I'll always do that. <laughs> Just stand up and 